is going on guys welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel thank you for stopping in today among other things we're installing the 350z k harness bar from graffiti motorsports we picked this one up through njuku racing big shout out to njuku racing for hooking me up and getting this thing sent out really really quickly i appreciate the help because we are on a tight deadline for this thing now we're gonna get right into it and you can technically install this thing with seats still in the car but we're gonna pull the seats because we got a surprise coming for this car believe it or not uh, a few basic things you're gonna need for this which is really surprising and, and a little bit of a relief actually because we need things to go smoothly here you're just gonna need a 12 millimeter and a 14 millimeter socket with a ratcheting wrench or a socket wrench wire cutters apparently and a razor blade and a helping hands but we don't have any helping hands we just got these two here so we're gonna go for it uh, pretty basic installation instructions I like it when they're short sweet and concise like this pretty simple first things first we're just gonna get to uh, pulling the seats out of this thing these are just 14 millimeter bolts by the way holding the seat bracket in I have a couple of videos removing and reinstalling seats so go check those out if you have any questions about taking the seats out First one out. So we got the seats out. A lot of room to work in here. So we're just gonna have to remove this portion. The so look in here. Okay, can't pop it off my fingers, but we gotta expose the bolt here and uh, remove the seat belt part up here. This is where the brace goes, and then the seat belt can be hooked back up. So you can use the factory seat belt with this harness bar, but the point of having a harness bar is to have harnesses. Look at that Alcantara ceiling, that looks so good. It's actually the first time I've had nice lighting. They're just 14 millimeter bolts, so you can just go ahead and use the same one that you were using to remove your seat. Hang on to this because we're gonna reuse this. we need to be able to access the mounting points in the back of the vehicle they suggest you pull your carp out this is the accent point for the passenger side uh, your child safety seat uh, mounting point or anchor uh, what they suggest to do is pull the carpet out of the rear of the vehicle fold it in half and then basically use this as a template to cut another flap on that side so we're gonna do this one for both the main piece of carpet and then also the a little cheaper thinner piece of carpet that we have this is really painful but done it Let's see. We're almost through two hands please I'm not too shabby Sucks cutting into a nice piece of carpet, but it'll be fine. Okay, this one's done too. Use a sharp blade, not a dull one. Dull, dull blade is a dangerous blade, trust me on that one. All right, let's put these back in. Just hand tighten both sides quickly. I sort of have to move, maneuver a carpet out of the way here. Both layers. So they say it's a 12 millimeter uh, bolt that they give you here, but it's actually 13. So just keeping that in mind, this is a real beast to get to line up. Even when you leave these, um, you know, the seat belt mounting locations loose, there's still. A little bit of flex so that's where that extra set of hands will come in handy I was able to just give myself a little bit of leverage push it into place and tighten them down so pretty annoying because I had to flex it and try to push it so hard the carpet was actually just a little bit too thick probably because I have two layers but I'm just gonna actually end up cutting a slice and just kind of wrapping it around so it'll lay flat and be fine but 
just wasn't working out. I actually decided to leave the factory seat belts in for the time being. You never know. Um, you know, this is going to be a street car as well, so I want to be able to just put your regular seat belt on and not worry about the harness from time to time. Uh, so it's a good idea, but also it kind of acts as a spacer. Uh, there's a little, um, a little section on the bolt itself, and I just wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get the harness bar tight or not. So uh, without this, without this. Um, the, the belt support or whatever the heck you want to call this the belt loop uh, there's it kind of acts as a spacer so uh, I think it worked out for the best we can just secure the belt on this little hook here harness bar is in place um, that's about it looks pretty sharp let me close the hatch see what she looks like Alright guys, that's it for this one, it for tonight. You can tell when it's getting too late when you start making mistakes or you start uh, you're forgetting things. So it's time to quit, time to call it a night. We'll jump back on it early in the morning and uh, we got some projects. So we'll get some things taken care of and hopefully we can finish off this interior in time for Saturday morning, cars and coffee. Maybe some of you will be there. We'll see. Thanks for watching this one. More to come for the Z, more to come for the Q. Thanks for the support guys. See you in the next one.